Hey everyone. This short video today is focused on um, adding a pump to the existing Hydros Plus kit. Now, this may be as a result of you buying the kit first and deciding you want a little bit more flow, or it could be a situation where you've bought the kit and the pump, but the pump is out of stock. So uh, in those cases, uh, I would send you uh, the, the kit and the, the right plumbing to hook up to your, your stock pump. And then when the pump comes in, I'll send that along as well. So um, one thing that can happen because you're, you, when you initially install the Hydros Plus kit, uh, I don't provide precise measurements because tractors can be a little bit different and, and there can be some factors uh, on individual tractors that you know that won't work for and so if you watch the install video you know that i tell you to uh, put the pump where it should be uh, loosely attach the tubes and then decide where exactly you want to mount it so people can mount it maybe a few millimeters forward a few millimeters back up down you've got a little bit of flexibility and also these tubes that come we're not manufacturing these to you know, thousands of an inch here. Uh, they're very close to each other and generally interchangeable. But if you've ever bought something even from John Deere, you'll know that there's a good chance you're gonna have to bend the tubes just a bit. And they're made to be bent. Uh, keep in mind these tubes, you know, when they, they start their life completely straight and then uh, they're manipulated uh, to fit the application. So, um, what I'm going to do here, and, and the pump you're seeing here is actually an experimental pump, so it's a little bit larger even than the largest extreme capacity pump. And what I'm going to do, and I think if this is right, is I'm going to take a tube from the extreme capacity pump, and I'm going to go ahead and loosely fit it here. And it should be, well in this case, we'll, we'll use this because we'll manipulate it just a little bit. So as you can see, this doesn't exactly work. It needs to be bent just a bit. Now, that said, you've got two options if you want to, to determine the length here. So and I've, just over here on my left-hand side, this hand, I've gotten this just finger tight. It's not completely tight. Um, your first option is to loosen your jam nut here and then potentially uh, open this up. So if we open this up, we're getting even a little bit closer and I can actually make that work. So get this on and then bam, you're done. No, no need to bend the tube. All we needed to do is give one turn out and, and you have probably, you know, three or four turns either way on this because that, that's how this is designed. You'll be just fine if you need to, to bring this out, uh, even an, an additional turn, which Again, this pump is a little bit big. We have some interference here. You actually don't get that same interference on on the extreme capacity pump. But what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to bring this thing in. Oh, I can't go any further than that. I'm going to bring it in here tight. And let's just say that's as close as you could get it. And as you can see, it's close, but not exactly. And in this in this case, you could probably make this work if you, if you tried really hard, that's close enough. Um, but what I'm gonna do is actually show you what you need to do, how you need to bend this tube for the best results. So I'm gonna pause it here uh, and we'll go up to, um, to the vise. All right, now we're at the vise, no judgment on whatever else might be on the frame here. And I've just got some painter's rags here and I've got soft jaws, jaws for my um, vise, but maybe you don't. So I'm just gonna use this, this is good enough. I mean, you can use no jaws at all, you know, no, nothing soft if you want, but the reality is, and actually that's what I'm gonna do so you can see better, but you may have to hit it with some paint. I've already skimped this one up pretty good. Um, so um, the way you wanna orient this on your vise and, and make sure you're you know, you're tightened down so you can bend a little bit. We're going to focus on this joint right here. So this is going to be the one where we apply either more angle to it, slightly more, and we're talking very small amount. 
either more angle or less angle, that's going to give us the length that we need. And we just needed just a bit, as you remember. And so what I'll do is, is put this in. And I, the thing that I do is make sure you capture the bend here so that essentially it holds it from torquing uh, rotationally. But once you get where you want, clamp it down. It doesn't have to be terribly tight. I'm going to apply some pressure here and get a little bit more of a bend. Now, you can, you know, you're not going to hurt this thing unless you just kind of fold it over. Um, I just get some leverage out towards the end here and I'm just going to give it just a little bit of a, a push. And that's all I did. I mean, I literally, and I just felt it start to move. So we just needed a very small amount. Um, and so that, that's probably going to do it, but because, uh, well, let me go back and we'll, we'll see how this fits and then we'll, we'll tweak it the other way. Okay. We're back at the tractor. And so I'll put this through. I'll loosely tighten uh, my valve side. And because I've done this a number of times, um, you might not be surprised that I got it exactly right. So it screws on and, and I didn't need um, to tweak anything, uh, anything additionally. So and as long as you can get these threads started and the threads over here, um, the tube is going to conform uh, to, to this shape. So what I mean by that is say, say it's a little bit tight, but, but you can actually get the threads started. Go ahead and start them. Use your 5 16th wrench, bring it all the way down. If you were to take that tube off, put it back on, it'll fit, it will be uh, a perfect fit because these tubes uh, are malleable. They'll move. Uh, and, and conform to wh where they uh, where they need to be. So that said, not too tight here. Again, the first thing to do is spin this, right? Oh, I wish I could get that one more. So I'm going to spin this out. Well, that's still, it's still close enough, even with this, this loosened up, um, to get it to work. Now, like I said, if I'm going to loosen this up, had this been a situation where, um, it was too far like this, what we would need to do is again, focusing on, on this angle here, put it in the vise, and then give it a bend that direction and try not to twist, but that's really not going to be a big issue. Give it a bend in and you'll see that it works. Let me actually demonstrate that. Okay. I did a little bit of TV magic and made this a little bit long just so we can demonstrate this. So as you can see, um, and, and this could happen, it, it's probably going to be very close. And there's a good chance you're not going to have to do this at all, but uh, I do want to make it available. And so, you know, the best way to do it. Let's see here. So, you know, we've got, we've got this, this one on and we're, we're trying to get this on, but we just can't get it started. No matter how hard we try, we actually have some interference here because I made it long. Um, that's a situation where, um, you can take it to the vice. Now, one other option, um, and it, I think this is so easy that you probably don't want to do that. But one other option would be to loosen up the bolt. If you're really close, you can loosen up the bolts. I'll show it here on the flow divider. And what that'll do is give you the flexibility to go ahead and start this. And then once you're done, uh, pull that back in. And again, this tube is going to conform, uh, to the shape it needs to be. We'll show this one more time. Um, like I said, uh, if you, if you have some black spray paint around, you know, you can just do this without, 
um, any, or you can use your soft jaws. But as we mentioned earlier, focusing on this uh, particular bend, so this is oriented the same way as if you were at the back of the tractor. And so I put it in the vise, give it a little bit of a clamp, and then I'm, I'm kind of hiding it here, but just take your hand and just even pressure. In this case, I made it cut quite long, so I'll give it a little bit of a push there. And from my experience, that'll work, but let me tell you, if you, if you are so close, um, you just can almost get it on, but you can't quite get it on. When you bring it over here, I mean, just the smallest of pushes on this, and you can even potentially do this. Um, you can uh, pull this out. It's so slight that if you put something in that band and, and give it a push on each end, um, you can make that work. So let me bring it back over to the tractor and I'll show you. We'll see if I got lucky a second time. All right, back at the tractor, put this in, and I'll start my valve side. Got it pretty close. And, and again, I, if you're doing this, probably don't start it completely. But um, it, and, and one other small trick is if you, if you don't pull it all the way down, meaning here, if you pull it up, you have a little bit of play there. We'll see if I got close enough. And I did. So tighten them both up, and, and like I said, uh, if you can get them close enough to get it on, just use your 15th, 16th. Tighten this up. And on the current pumps offered, uh, you can use your 15th, 16th here. This pump, I get, like I said, is an experimental pump. It's a little bit bigger. So don't forget to tighten the other side and you're in business. There is another, I didn't show how to change the pump here. Um, there's another video on that, but basically it's loosen this, take these four bolts out, remove your existing pump, put the one back on. And uh, this, that part is very simple. And this part can, it will likely be uh, very simple as well. Uh, I just wanted to show this in case uh, there was a situation we just quite couldn't quite get it. Um, that's my recommendation on where to bend it. Certainly if you would like to bend it in another way, uh, you're not going to hurt it. Feel free. Hope that's helpful. If you have trouble, you get to this point and you need a little bit of assistance. Don't hesitate to call me. Thanks for watching.